Good morning, I'm Echo and today I'm going to show you how to make homemade Danish bread. My version of Danish bread is incredibly easy and very delicious. It's a traditional type of bread in Denmark that can be served for breakfast or afternoon snack with a cup of coffee and a slice of cheese. Oftentimes, enjoyed with a thick spread of butter. So, let's get started! Good morning! I'm Echo and welcome to Eva's Kitchen! Here are the ingredients. 500 grams of flour, 15 grams of active dry yeast, a teaspoon of salt, 2.5 deciliter of milk, 25 grams of melted butter, and 1 half deciliter of warm water. Pour the warm water into a bowl, then add the yeast. Stir to combine and let it sit for about 10 to 15 minutes until the yeast mixture starts to bubble and appear foamy. Add the melted butter into the milk, then stir. Combine two-thirds of the flour and the salt, then mix. When the yeast is activated, stir and pour the milk mixture into the yeast mixture. Continue to mix. Now, gradually add the flour into the liquid mixture. Combine the dry ingredients and the wet ingredients together using a hard spoon. Then take the dough into a floured workspace and begin to knead. Use as much extra flour and continue to knead until the dough starts to form. It should be soft and flexible but not too sticky and not too dry. Form the dough into a ball and place it in a well-floured bowl. Dust the top with flour and then cover the bowl with a plastic wrap and a clean kitchen cloth. Let it rise for at least 45 minutes and when the dough has doubled in size, it's ready for the second kneading process. Transfer the dough into a floured workspace. Knock the air out from the dough and knead for several minutes. Roll the dough into a loaf. Then, transfer it into a floured baking tray. Dust the top surface with some flour. Cover the dough with clean kitchen cloth and let it rest for 10 to 15 minutes. Preheat the oven to 200 degrees Celsius and after 15 minutes, slit the bread and brush the top with milk or egg wash. Place the loaf in the lowest level of the oven and bake for about 40 to 50 minutes. Once the bread has formed a crisp golden crust, the bread is ready. Remove the bread from the oven, then brush the bread with some butter on top. Allow the bread to cool in a wire cooling rack. I love the soft interior and crunchy exterior of this bread. It smells amazing and I really like to enjoy this bread when it's fresh from the oven. Sometimes, the fermentation process takes a little longer. Give it another 30 minutes or more until the dough has doubled in size. And if you want the dough to rise faster, you can also just place the dough in the oven at 30 degrees Celsius for 20 to 30 minutes. My homemade Danish bread is perfect for smoked salmon sandwiches. It works deliciously well when dipped in soups, and I guarantee that this bread is going to be fantastic with any of your favorite bread spread. 
Speaking of bread spread, my favorite is butter on warm, freshly baked bread. What's yours? Leave me a comment below. I would love to hear from you. Serve it warm or at room temperature. And as always, enjoy! Thank you for watching. If you like this recipe, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And if you haven't already, please like and follow my Facebook page and subscribe to my YouTube channel so that I can continue to provide you with insightful videos and delicious recipes. If you have suggestions or questions about the recipe, please leave me a comment below. I would love to hear from you. Thank you for your support and I'll see you guys soon. Bye!